And, then and are you at a greater risk of a cell phone being on when you're in your car because it's searching for a signal than if you're just at your home? Is it the same thing or is it a greater risk? When you're in a car, cell phones modulate in three levels trying to find the cell tower. A moving car is metal around, so it's a, a floating, uh, as a floating ground. It's absorbing the signal, so it's at its maximum levels. It's transmitting at the highest levels, and here's where distance plays a big game. If you have it in your pocket, it's touching your body. If you have it on the passenger side, as far away as you can, it's still dangerous, but the distance has reduced the, the exposure. But you have to remember the newer cars are, are moving cell phones. So my car is a cell phone. Yeah. My car has antennas on it. So the reality is the thing I've been told works for this, and I haven't checked this, but it made sense to me, is that you literally take wire, copper wire, you screw it into the back of the car, and it grounds the car. You're going to have to change it periodically rubbing across the roadway will eventually wear it down. So just ground it that way. And the side effect is when the radar comes after you, it throws it off sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Benefit. <laughs> In terms of the cars, um, we are developing like uh, tech and mats so you can be on that and be protected. Uh, and like even, you know, like you're driving a Tesla, it's one big battery. And yeah. so there, we have to pay more attention. I'm actually really looking at that for those reasons. But basically, that's part of the overall protection is protecting yourself in your car. And I think we're going to be able to do it with the, you know, the rubber mats, but they're not quite rubber. They'll be taconized, so when you're on it, you're going to be protected. Is an electric car with a battery more of a concern regarding EMFs and health than a regular car? Depends upon how the company works it. So we go back to when I talked to the Tesla company before I purchased one, they literally said why we chose aluminum, aluminum, in great part was that. It's not conductive of it. And in there, there's devices, not devices, little round disc you should put into any electric car. And hybrid cars are in part electric too. So you don't have to have complete electric, you can be partially electric. Uh, pretty much every new car, not everyone, almost every new car, is either a hybrid or moving electric. And they anticipate in the next 10 years there'll be, in this country, 20 to 30 million more electric cars. They'll, they're going to phase out motors. Some countries literally have said this is it by 2035. We can't sell motorized cars at that point. So this is where we're going, so we have to really consider this. This is a lot of, a lot of science has to be done on it. They're, they're turning, something that you can do in, is contact, and every car is different, but you can have the antennas in some cars turned off um, when you talk to your manufacturer. Um, but I know that with the battery cars, I, they've gotten better, and they are aware of this issue. And I had read a report uh, BMW was looking into this and trying to figure out how could they reduce the extremely low frequency fields in the car because there can be a portion, especially in the back on one side, where it can be higher. Um, and I think that that's why we have to use the power of our pocketbook and talk to companies and say, I want a low EMF car. What, you know, you can, you can do this. You have to do this. So why don't we each my, my experience with Tesla and some of these other companies, they may tell you what you want to hear. That's true. And to really, it. we need to measure it. Yeah. And I'll tell you, most electrical cars do need to be modified with our own technology, exactly. which is why I'm talking about the tachinized mats that kind of stop the technology. So there are different things you can do, but you do need to do something. Even though they'll say, oh, it's low, it's not really a problem. As far as I'm concerned, it's still a problem. Right across from here, they have discs that help with the electric cars. Because I've measured mine five different occasions, had engineers measure it two other times, and those discs do help.